Hey, it's Joseph here. My effort continues searching for the best workflow and the new products in architecture. Fortunately, we live in a day and age where there's a lot of rendering solutions out there for us to use. However, as to all tools, there's not really a single best solution. Rather, there is a range of great products out there that you can pick and choose based on what's best suited for the task that you're about to perform. And today, ShapeSpark is a tool of choice. ShapeSpark is a rendering software in a browser that allows you to walk through your model anywhere. And I mean anywhere, even on your phone. So I am really glad that they were willing to sponsor this video for me to introduce their great product to you guys. There is absolutely no doubt that virtual walkthroughs are just plain helpful for our design process. Everyone can see the design and gain meaningful design inputs. But there's been numerous occasions for my clients to not be able to open or view the walkthrough packages that I have sent to them. It is because they simply don't have powerful machine to view and load complex 3D models. Either they're trying to load the model on five-year-old laptop that only works half the time, or they they just outright don't have a computer with them. But ironically, they always seem to have this latest generation of iPhone or iPad. So this is where ShapeSpark really comes in handy. Since all the light computation is where the most amount of heavy lifting that needs to be done for your computer to do. Most of those things are done in prior for ShapeSpark, requiring minimal performance for whatever the device that you choose to view the model from. One of the most basic requirement would be to have at least a Wi-Fi and be able to see the link that you share with them and load them onto the browser of their choice. And then off they go. They're able to see the model on their smartphone, tablet, or prehistoric laptop that they have. I have been mocking the clients with five-year-old laptop, but in fact, I actually have a pretty old laptop as well. So let me take this one out. So here's my Surface Pro 4. I still do use this laptop almost daily for note-taking purposes. And looking at the release date, it was released on October 15. So that makes it about four and a half years old. So if I can load the rendering on this machine, then that goes to tell you whether it is viewable on an old machine or not, right? So let me push all of this aside. So I just need to click on this play button and then it's gonna load quickly. And this is an example file that I have uploaded myself. And yeah, I'm able to just look through the model like this and then be able to move into different places by just clicking on it. And then pan around if I need to. And because this is a tablet, I can just fold it down to a tablet mode and then actually touch on the device to pan around. And if I want to go elsewhere, I just need to click on and then it will take you to that space as well. So the virtual walkthrough that's done on four and a half year old tablet. Okay, let's close that and tuck it away again. And actually I can view the same thing on my phone as well. So all I need to do is obviously start recording. Okay, and this is ShapeSpark. Just click on that play button. And this is actually another project that I had done for my friend. And I can either virtually walk through, look around, that sort of thing, or I can load a different model. So let's go to ShapeSpark webpage. So here I can go down to some of these examples. So let's say this one. So I can start from this area here. I just tap on it. And then you can view the model and walk through the model as well. And it allows you to see some of these points where you can click on and then choose different colors. So there's multiple of options that is available for whomever viewing 
the model. So all of these is quite intuitive. And this phone is not even the most cutting edge flagship phone. And this is Samsung Galaxy S10e and it is able to give you the smooth experience. So this screen is now back on my computer and I'm just showcasing the same model that I was showing on my Surface Pro 4. Obviously the screen is a little bit smoother since this computer is able to screen record a lot smoothly but yeah I can view around and then move around as well and this model is definitely not done as the most highest render quality you can see the lights are not really done as lights it's just uh, floating blobs but I am trying to show the work in progress the design in progress in here and I can still share the model to the client without having to change anything specifically in the scene, they still get the feeling of the space and they're able to see the progress of your design. ShapeSpark works with many different softwares in the file formats. The ones that I have tried is SketchUp and Revit. They have a dedicated extensions for those two softwares, or you can just import the compatible file formats such as FBX and Collada and OBJ files into ShapeSpark. And as to how the SketchUp's export process is, I just need to have ShapeSpark running in the background. So here I actually have this project already existing. So I'm just gonna go to extensions shape spark as long as you have the extension installed you're going to be able to see that export and then i'm going to match the same name i'm just going to update the existing scene instead of a new one and then include the sun yes okay and then just wait for a bit whilst it's telling you extracting the model geometry and textures and you'll be prompted export is finished okay and then you'll be able to go to shape spark and here you will have that available for you you can click on it and then a different window will show up and that will have you walk through the model if necessary and this is a very basic walkthrough that is available for you and this point you can do further processing you can also edit the scene for better rendering and the light quality and then you can upload afterwards. After you have uploaded, when you log into ShapeSparks webpage, all the uploaded scenes will populate here and you can just click on that for you to have that walkthrough experience. And these are all the ones that I have uploaded myself. So let me just go ahead and click one of the example files that they provide. So this is done in much higher quality as you can see. So whilst at it, let me show you the other good example. You can just click on this scene. And as I have shown on my phone, you're able to click different colors for the countertop and the table and the chair. So you can actually set your scene to make that sort of modification possible. And here you can even play a movie if you want to. And I'm not gonna do that for now, but yeah, you can see all of this. And here's one other cool thing. I can go to the floor plan view and then even look at the floor plan as well. And if I wanna jump into one particular space, I just click that and then I'm able to jump right back in there. So all of that is done through your browser as opposed to a dedicated rendering. So you are able to have this cool experience, the walkthrough rendered experience inside of your browser that you share via just a single link. As you can imagine, the interface is quite intuitive. All you need to do is just click on different places for you to move around and drag your left mouse button to view around and the right mouse button does exactly the same thing. However, if you're wondering, you can just click on this question mark and then it tells you what each mouse and keyboard does for you. And then even the advanced mode will list all of these different features. So you can do the same navigation as WASD if you're more gamery type of people who's used to that sort of navigation versus clicking on different scenes for you to move around. So 
that's entirely up to you. And here is a quick tip for you. If you just click on this question mark and go to advanced, you'll see that P is for screenshot. So if there is a specific angle that you would like to take picture of, I can hit P here. And then as soon as that is done, that view is going to download. And then I can just view the downloaded image. Here again, hit P and then I can just download that. And that's going to be the snapshot. Even the snapshots really look good, right? And this is perfect for you to leave comments and say, oh, this light needs to light up. Or actually, can we move the carpet a little bit closer to here? You can make those comments easily and then you can just share that to improve the model or the rendering that you are working on. And as you can view all of this on your smartphone as well, there is a possibility of Google Cardboard type of VR available for the ShapeSpark. And all I need to do is on your phone, I can just click on the VR button at the bottom of the screen and then that's going to jump into this VR mode that is gonna go on here so you can view it on the Google Cardboard devices. So I have this VR headset that is cheaply available. They go for $10, $20, they're not really expensive at all. And good tip here is to increase your screen brightness before you put that in. And if you can disable adaptive brightness as well. Once you put your phone in, just align it to the headset and then you're able to view the model within your headset and this is all stereoscopic which means that you can tell the distance between the closer versus the further objects look around and if i want to move i can just hold into that specific position and after you hold that position that the scene will jump to that specific spot and screen recording is not working for the VR mode, so I am not able to share this with you, but you just kind of have to take my word for it. And there's no special software that you need. All you need is the headset, and then I'm not using any fancy browser or software, and this is just Chrome working on Android. It works just fine. And whilst we are in the topic of VR, let's look at Oculus Quest as well. So here is my Oculus Quest, the two controllers. And all I'm doing here is going to a browser. And once I go into the browser on the website link, I'm just going to type in ShapeSpark. And then as soon as I just search, I go to the ShapeSpark website and then here play demo. And because there is no clever way of pushing a URL copy and paste option, it is usually the best go to ShapeSpark website, sign in and then just view your model via there because it will list all the things that's available for you. And this is just a browser experience. So this is not really a true VR experience. Whereas if you just click on the VR, and then allow and then I'm jumping into VR and I'm just remembering not to shake the headset too much and I am able to see the space in this VR mode and I feel like as if I'm standing there and I'm able to point to a certain spot and then just click and I'll be jumping to that spot here again click and then I am able to look over there Go over there, click, and then I want to turn around. And then I want to choose a different color for the countertop again. So I am able to see how that looks like in the space. So that wasn't too difficult, was it? So if you have struggled in the past to share your model with your clients, or if you're wishing to embed the walkthrough experience into your website, or if you're just wishing to share your model via 
one simple URL link, then give a ShapeSpark a go. It is definitely worth the consideration. I will also leave the link to ShapeSpark's webpage and the examples that I have used in the description for you guys to see and test it out yourselves. And if you have liked this content, please like and subscribe to my channel if you want to continue watching these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching as always. I'll see you next time. Bye.